now. And um, yeah. Um, our length of the song is 5 minutes 17 seconds. Um, we plan to play the song around 3 minutes 40 seconds. The audience are people who enjoy athletes. The channel of broadcast would be YouTube and Capital Extra and um, Athletes Chart Top 10 on their website. The summary of the narrative. There are two guys who are friends in the club and they see a lady and they find her attractive. One of the guys tries to get her attention in the club and the second guy sees the lady randomly later on and tries to get her attention too. This links um, to, the, uh, to the lyric and the soundtrack because the idea of um, a chase of the main girl. The role of the performance is to basically tell a story about a chase and that's what the lyrics are saying so we haven't got any con conceptual elements just yet but you want to do that with the editing yeah okay. but I'm not our inspiration was Sierra Body Party and Usher Love in the Sky we have screenshots of what we liked Yeah, we're not going to go into them because they can, but yeah, um, yeah, so. Oh, these are all the screenshots. Yeah. Okay, that's a lot of screen. I'll show you the music. Our music video is different by the narrative of the song as the lyrics are different. The music on the scene are um, the constant main characters, two males and one female. Other characters are background dancers, two female friends and basketball players. Our lake locations are Alfred Hitchcock um, Theatre for the first, first club scene, Canary Wharf for dancers, Royal Victoria for dancers, um, the pub for the second verse, and TV studio for close-ups of lip singing, and our props for basketball for baby lovers. That's the intro of the song, and besides the begin of the video, video we introduced the two male actors with the two shot, and have a monochrome effect as well as the title of the song. On verse one, we decided to have a club scene for the first, for the first verse, but this is very risky in terms of making the set realistic. Any suggestions? That's it. Okay. Thank you. So they wanted to start off with the initial question about the uh, club scene. Any suggestions for an alternative to that? Do you want to explain that further on why that might be tricky? Um, Vanessa showed us um, a coursework that did a club scene and it looked really unrealistic. So, in terms of like the camera shots they used and the spacing, like it did look like a classroom, it looked like a classroom. So, um, yeah, one of the suggestions on how to add or improve it or something that would give more of like the club theme but not necessarily the club. I'm with you guys. We do it in the house. Yeah, it's like a house party. Any questions? Are there any other common locations used in Afrobeat sort of performance based music videos? Because I'm certainly not an expert. Any of you guys got any thoughts? Outside, yeah, anyway. outside, like where there's that's why we've got Canary Wharf and um, Royal Victoria Station because of the area. Like a lot of it in other um, points in our case study, we just saw like places where there's loads of stairs and stuff, mm -hmm. like yeah, and levels kind of different stairs and stuff. Yeah. That's why we use Royal Victoria. Mm -hmm. 
Any general thoughts or feedback? Do you like the idea? Is there anything that's not clear? What do they need to add? Take away? Come on, you guys, you're the target audience. I mean, myself, certainly are. Looking. She's going to walk straight past them and not like give them a second look. She's going to go about her life. She's going to go about her life. And then um, later on, when the other guy sees her, she's going to ignore him as well. Which is the second verse. Yeah, the yeah. second verse. And we decided to make it out like um, he's playing basketball with his friends and then he sees her jogging past and then tries to sing the lyrics while trying to get her attention. Oh, okay. Where are you going to film the basketball? We're going to find a park that's got a basketball school. Okay. Yeah, so probably the Marsh Lane. The Marsh Lane Park. Interesting. Good. Any thoughts on this? Yeah. And he lip syncs as he's playing? Oh no. Not necessarily. No, not, not really. We can like have the soundtrack on the other mix. Um, yeah. Yeah, but we don't actually see him lip syncing. Like you can just see. Yeah, you can just see like a narrative yeah. kind of thing. Do you guys like this idea of the basketball theme as well? Someone other than Hamilton, please? Is that something that you've watched? Is that something you've seen elsewhere? Does it fit with the theme of Afrobeats? So you've actually got more ideas than you've put in. Right, um, other feedback? or thoughts from me. Um, you talked a lot about your inspiration, very nice. You didn't mention case studies on any Afrobeat songs. Have you done those? Oh, yeah, we've got the LDNC. Um, yeah. yeah, we have LDNC, we didn't put in there. Is that the one you were talking about with the different levels? Yeah, yeah, yeah. the dancing yeah, and stuff. And like, yeah. they have different camera shots, like they shot, they shot from literally the floor, like you see the pavement, you see feet and stuff. Yeah, different angles. Right, include that on your blog, show that's your inspiration, because it would be nice to see that, wouldn't it, guys? Do you guys know this video that they're talking about? This is the LDNC official video for Zagada. Do you want to tell us which of these elements you want to include and, and how? Um, the camera shots that they used, like they used really close up of things that they usually wouldn't close up, like you wouldn't usually close up feet and the concrete and floor and stuff, but that's what they did. and. Um, the angles, yeah. the different angles, low level. I think the editing makes it all smooth and stuff yeah. too. Yeah. And what sort of performance have we got here that you're going to use? Are you wanting to do the same sort of choreography as well? Yeah, S but similar. I'm, yeah, similar. similar. Uh, something along these lines, but not. Thoughts? Thoughts? About that? Well, I was going to say, the shot that um, you're talking about where it's on the concrete and floor, you could say the purpose of that to kind of show they're dancing, so that might be the reason why they're facing the on the floor. Are you filming in daylight or sun? Um, we was thinking to start filming in like su just literally sunset, so like a where the sun's literally just setting. But then if we're to do that, that means the whole thing would have to be in the same time frame like so that means if we shoot we're gonna have to shoot at eight 
every single day. So we can't go from night to day and then day to night. So we're not sure just yet. I'm not sure that you can't go from night to day in a music video. If it was a film and you needed a continuous story, certainly that would be problematic. But in a music video, you might have, for example, a different lighting set up in, 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 in one strand of the narrative. Mm -hmm. um, I think it is tricky filming at dusk, which is what you're talking about, the sun going down, because you have quite a small window where the light's really beautiful. But it's a nice idea, and certainly it's something for you to keep an eye on and figure out, you know, how long that window of light is and whether you can manage that. Don't you see? Yeah. And when you talk about the performance, are we going to have lip syncing and dancing in? So those are both. Yeah. Yes. So that's kind of like the main thing, and then we've got the narrative. Yeah. yeah. Do we understand a little bit better now? In some of the lyrics, you don't really hear it, or maybe the person lip syncing can't sing it, so then would mix it with the dancing. Yeah, so we have footage to cover our bits where we don't have any. The lip syncing goes wrong, basically. Yeah. Have we thought about choreography and managing choreography? Yeah, we've got one choreographer who's going to basically do two different short dances that they can just repeat for footage and then when we edit we'll cut and break. So. And dances that can freestyle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is really hard. Can I just also a note, you said using Canary Wharf. If you want to actually film in the precinct, you need a license to do that. In where? In Canary Wharf in the actual precinct, you know the big open area, you need a license to do that and also confiscate the film. Spaces are a bit tricky. Mm -hmm. Equally, if you're going to film by train station, you need to speak to the station manager. That's something we'll be dealing with between the week. Mm -hmm. It's a touch on it with the air commission. Yeah. Alright, we're done. Yep, should we pause? Move on to the next group. Thank you.